No! No, no, I'm not doing this anymore! You know what you've done! You've broken the game, you put boosts in, you made Indoor Raptor Gen 2 like, oh, let's put them in everything! Let's make them the most annoying thing in the world! I'm not doing it anymore! And I'm especially not wearing that! Wait, it says in the contract I have to do it? Yay! That's a funny one, James! You're a funny guy! Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Jurassic World Friggin' Alive! We're back again! It's Whip, Mr. Whippy, Lion, Beardy McBeardface, whatever you want to call him. Well, look at this. <laughs> this is brilliant. There's a little Carnotaurus hiding in the background. I see you. I, I, I just apologize for this entire episode, the way I look. Um... God knows how long it's going to stay like this. I'm, I, it's kind of a challenge to myself now to see how long I can go without cutting my hair or shaving. And um, so far, week. I don't even know anymore. And we're doing good. We're doing good. So there is a tournament going on at the moment. Um, and uh, oh, it's, to put it in perspective, like for instance, I had somebody message me on, on Discord, actually, and say, um, Beavers, how'd you beat Indogen 2? <laughs> you don't really. I mean, there, there are ways, but, like, the tournament that we're, is at the moment, you guys know. And uh, I, as, this is as high as I've gotten in it. As high as I've gotten. 1,030 cups. What does that get me? 375 Argentinosaurus DNA and 125 Secodonosaurus DNA. It's not worth it. Now you might argue, well, your team's pretty pants. And you'd be right. The, the problem with this, and we'll, we'll get into it in a second when I start doing the, the tournament, is just the, the boosts and the fixing it. That, that's the main thing. The boosts are the problem. Uh, some things need nerfs. Um, and it, it, it's, it's like a pyramid, right? So you've got the majority of people down at the bottom. And then you've got, you got like the top alliances at the top, right? They're the ones that are getting the best prizes because they have the best creatures. Um, and the way this game incentivizes you is to be the best so you get the best rewards. So the best, it's, it's like, it's like blooming uh, real life. The rich get richer. That, that's basically what this game is. <laughs> it's like, well, you can't participate in the tournament. You're probably going to find it absolutely frustrating. And two, you're not going to win anything. Do you want to do it? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. It's like the bloody battles. They've got you in. They've got you by the the nads. They've got you. It's like, oh, what's that? You want to get some free DNA? Well, you've got a battle. And what happens when you battle? You're gonna lose. So you got to spend like four hours in order to get the incubators that you normally get. Ha! And guess what? You're gonna hate every second of it because you'll think you're doing well, and then someone will come along. Full boosted team. Full boosted team. What can you do? <laughs> Nothing. You're crap. Basically, is how it feels at the moment to play the game if you're not top, top, top. And you can go, oh, I'm just going to max up everything and put boosts on everything because I win every prize. Which is, oh, uh, I mean, I really don't like this game at the moment. I really don't like it. Why are you playing it, Beavers? I don't know. Okay, well, anyway, that mini rant out the way. How about we look at something a little bit happier? How about we look at next week's events? This is June 15th to June 21st, the Jurassic Park event. Why? I think we, did we have that before? Okay, I guess we're gonna have it again. Uh, so Monday to Wednesday, we have Gallimimus, Velociraptor, Dilophosaurus Gen 2, Parasaurus and Triceratops Gen 2. Uh, the res on Wednesday to Friday are Dilophosaurus, Triceratops and T-Rex Gen 2. And the epics, no legendaries or uniques this weekend. The epics on Saturday and Sunday is Brachiosaurus and T-Rex. I would suggest going for Brachiosaurus. Well, why wouldn't you? It's got Ardennis Maxima. Unless you're like a new player and you want just that T-Rex to get Indominus Rex, to get Indoraptor, that sort of thing. I'm hearing rumors that apparently 
Oh, Dennis Maxima might be nerfed in the newest um, update, something like that. Um, but I'm, I'm really not too sure. Uh, the On Wednesday, the mods or boosts you can get is a health boost, which will give it 25. You've got the Brontolotherium, is it? Is, is that the hybrid? On the Friday and his incubator. So just like normal, we've got the double kind of incubator thing that we've seen since uh, we've had the lockdown. And the pandemic has happened. And we've got three epic incubators to get with an amphibian, I think that is, um, scent as well. Two or three? Is it two, two, two amphibian scents? Two amphibian scents. One on the Monday and one on the Thursday as well as... It. Oh no, there is one on Saturday. So three amphibian scents. Or it kind of looks like the Metrodon scents. But maybe that's, maybe that's an amphibian. I don't know. Either way. Uh, also on the weekend, you have a rare scent to get. So... There you have it. Not anything truly exciting. No, like, Diplodocus, nothing that's, like, really rare to come by. Uh, Brachiosaur is probably what you're going to want. And, um, for Odds Max and T-Rex Gen 2. Probably for, uh, Indo Gen 2, I think. So this is my team at the moment. This is how we're stacking up. Still waiting for the big update to come, which will be the reset in the boosts. So you'll get your uh, your amount back. Hopefully, fingers crossed, and it's not just like, well, he's a random amount. <laughs> It'd be good if everyone got like a set amount, but then it also wouldn't be because a lot of people have spent real money on it, and that would suck. Um, also, like, I don't want to be this guy who's always complaining about Jurassic World Live. I see I have eight thousand bucks and there will be people who will say beavers what are you doing why don't you just like buy all the in the market why don't you you know that's 1500 you could you know one day two day three day four day five that's like almost six days worth you could get like 50 and if you wanted to you know i could buy eight times five was 400 boosts of a certain one i wanted so that's four guaranteed boosts to a certain dinosaur um for a start it's actually better to speed up the incubators so if i did want to just like spend my bucks on um boosts which i do want to do but again don't have the time <laughs> i would just do the battles over and over and over and do it that way also open up an incubator while we're here um but oh man the, the problem with the tournament as well um i spent hours hours and hours and hours on this tournament and i i remember i faced up against somebody who um had a level 26 what's it called ardentosaurus now if you didn't know ardentosaurus is the dinosaur that you need to get argentinosaurus and you only need it to level 20 and from then out you fuse it so it was so confusing when i came up against a level 26 so I mean, and I checked. I checked everyone I was fighting against in the tournament. They were all... They had every dinosaur on the team maxed to level 30. And I'm talking about uniques. These guys, and they all had the little uh, medal symbol next to them. They were in, like, the top 100 players. And every battle I was facing was them. So every battle had, like, a level 30 Indogen 2, a level 30 Mono Stegotops, or, like, super high Phosphoras, super high Sarcostrix. It, it's just unbelievable the amount of uh, <laughs> of uh, crazy opponent. And the thing is, if you don't have your dinosaurs boosted at all, like especially if you come across like, an Indogen 2 boosted, there's really nothing you can do unless you've got yours and it's maxed as well. Um, but I do want to give it a shot because we're pretty close and I do want to try to just get a little bit higher. Just a little bit. <laughs> is it too much to ask? Yes. I'm also tempted to just do an episode where you go, you know what, Ludia? You've made your game pay to win. I'll spend money on you. And just show, this is what Ludia wants the game to be. But no, I don't want to do that. It'd be absolutely ridiculous. Not that I've done something as stupid in the past with Jurassic Park Builder. Oh God, that was horrendous. But I, I don't want to do that. I don't want, because the problem, and I know I'm, I'm ranting and raving, and I apologize, I do, but, this game is pay to win 100% and it sucks. It sucks. 
because the people who are at the top, who are getting the best prizes, who are getting the best things for tournaments, for leagues, leaderboards, whatever, are the ones who either are, you know, play the game legit and are like played a lot. And I mean a lot. In, in that circle of people, there are genuinely good people. But it's, it's a shame that they have to be sullied by this, oh, well, if you want to be that good, just give us money. And that's why, like, I don't have anything against people who are good at the game. But it's also like, ah, uh, it, it sucks because it's like, well, I could be that good if I just threw like 500 pounds at the game and just went, give me that stuff. Let's do, let's do a tournament. Let's do a tournament. Let's talk more about it. We might be able to do, ooh, we might be able to do this actually. Oh, maybe, maybe. Okay, let's see. So this is the team that I had at the moment and I, I didn't do very well at all. Uh, so we, but now I have Magnetator at level 30 and Magnetator is one of my top boosted creatures. It's possible I might be able to do this. Okay, it's been a while since we've done this, but can we finally complete the campaign? Come on, come on, I can do it this time. Believe. I believe, now I don't know how I normally started. I do have two boosts to use. I have a speed boost and I have an attack boost, I think. Uh, oh God, is he gonna just go for instant? And what's his attack? Toy does how much? Oh, well, he's gonna kill me in one more hit, but at least let's get a crit. Let's get a crit. Oh, right, but can we kill him? He might, I mean, if it was a person, he'd just go for instant distraction. Oh, we got him. Are you kidding me? Okay, one, one kill straight away. There's a chance that he's gonna he's gonna be able to kill me in one hit from something, surely. Ardento? Can Ardento kill me? 1.5. No! Oh my god, don't get a crit. Don't get a crit. Oh, whoa, whoa, are we gonna do it? Wow! <laughs> we didn't get a crit though. Oh my lord! Now, what's what's he's probably just gonna go for a little hit, right? Go for a cheeky little hit? Ah, I was, I was thinking he might go for a big one. I'd rather just take that huge hit on Thordor. Right, now bear in mind, they also have, um, well, what can they do? They went for a huge hit. They could go for decelerating, but there's nothing. It's 1.5. Um, do I switch? I'm gonna put in Trico. I think Magnetator is gonna be this creature that I'm gonna need to save for last. Now, does he have any armor? He doesn't have any armor. Oh, instant invincible. This is, what's going on? I remember trying this, bear in mind, it was a while ago, but I was nowhere near actually uh, doing it. Now, chances are he's gonna go for a big hit here. What? No! I, oh, well, I guess that's fine. I was, yeah, sure. I mean, I, I wish I went for the biggest hit. Uh, is he gonna go for cloak? Please go for cloak. I was gonna say, the game handing it to me on a silver platter, what's it doing? <laughs> oh my God, I, I, we killed him. It's, okay, two creatures left, I think, because he's got four. He may have five, actually. Yeah, he'll have five creatures, so he's still got three left. Oh, no, 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 no. And that's the thing. He's just going to do one, you know, cautious strike, and then he's faster than my Magnetator, and that sucks. Um, so, really, I mean, what's his attack? 2,000, 4,000... There's nothing I could do. There really isn't. He's just going to do this and then go for a big hit. Um, and he can do 4,200 damage. This, for example, is every battle. It doesn't matter with tournament or regular battles. In or out of Gen 2, level 30, max with crazy attacks. That's what everyone faces these days. So, um, what can I do here? What actually can I do? Um... Nothing really like I could switch out. I, I, I have to take the speed off. I just I just have to do that Because he's gonna go for a huge hit. I think uh, Does he go for another cautious? No. Well, uh, if you get to crit, I'm dead. Oh, we didn't. That's good. We're getting really lucky I, I don't think we can do this, but we've gotten really lucky. Hopefully he goes for like evasive stance That would be a mate. No, because he doesn't if he goes for a ferocious fu uh, oh sorry, uh, mutual fury. Well, we're dead. We're dead. Um, I don't think there's any way for us to win this. He's going to go for a big hit on Magnetator. And that's going to do so much damage. And... Oh? No. No. We didn't get the crit either with the cautious. We killed him. 
Oh, one more. Oh, that was it. No, we did it. Oh my God, we did it. I was expecting like one more win. Yes. Yay, 250 bucks, 200 Becky DNA, which I do not need. Uh, but I'll take the, I'll take the Indo DNA. Heck yeah. I'll take the Indominus Rex and the Ardenta, Ardomo, whatever it's called. So 250 DNA. Woo, there we go. Take the 200 of you. What's the next one? 100. Oh, I mean, look at this. It's ridiculous. Blue is such a hard thing to come by. I went to the dark side, okay? I had to. I wasn't going to win anything else. I had to get an Indoraptor Gen 2. And he's already been nerfed. Chances of him being nerfed again is very low. Very, very low. And yay. I've <laughs> already got 2,800 of that bugger. Yay. I did it. I completed it. I'm an official DPG Defense League leader. I don't get anything for it, but there you go. Hopefully, hopefully they'll add more levels to that. So, with that out of the way... Oh, look, a rare. Let's not get it. I also got 120 Indoraptor DNA from Darting, which I don't think is the best, but at least I think I got like three direct hits, which on an Indoraptor I thought was relatively decent. So, how about we go into the tournament and just see how many Indoraptors we can face up against. Let's do it. Can't wait to face against some Indoraptor Gen 2s. I can't wait to get back on the road again. So, chances are we're going to face up against an Indoraptor straight away. There's probably like 50% chance that they're instantly going to put out an Indoraptor. So with that, bear that in mind, let's go for you. Oh, you had the same idea. That's great. Oh, hopefully this is all he's got to counter. Um, now... Ooh, I, it's actually good I go second, because I will I can go for a swoop. Um, now, it depends. If he's got Lucky, he might have... Because, so, right, team you face up against usually is Draco Seratops, Interrupted Gen 2. Um, and they're, they're the staples. Yeah, thought I thought that was going to be... Okay, this guy's got level 28 Mono Stegatops. I also do, after this, want to check to see what level... I've lost. Now I can do. I've lost. Um, I guess I could try my indirect. Like, and this is the thing. It always seems to be I face up against opponents that have Indoraptor Gen 2. Now the chances of you actually having an Indoraptor Gen 2 in your parties are like 50%, right? Because you, you've got 8 out of your team and you can only have 4. But it seems like everybody manages to get their Indoraptor Gen 2. Uh, okay, so I can, yeah, I could, I'll, I could probably go for a mutual fury, um, and then just try and go for a big hit on him, but I won't kill him. So with that in mind, he can't stun me. I'll go for an evasive. He might go. Well, he hasn't gone for dig in, that's for sure. Yeah, he's gonna go for greater strike. Okay, he got a crit and he went through. Can we just chuck in the towel already? Like it's, it, this is over. There's nothing I can do. Yeah, there's the digging. That's good. Um, I mean, it's not good for me. Um, oh, God, it's horrendous, man. It's horrendous. <laughs> it's not fun. Ludia, you made your game not fun to play. You made your game pay to win. You put in a dinosaur, if this being interrupted Gen 2, who is just mind-bogglingly... Annoying, unfair, broken, horrible. I hate it. <laughs> oh, we got lucky there. We got we got two dodges off. Okay. Um, yeah. Should we just let him kill us? Like, and just let him go for his one one point five? Or should we just? Oh, he's gonna swap. Oh, it's Draco. Is that enough to kill? Yeah, it's probably enough. Or oh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be like really close. Yeah. yeah I didn't think so. So we can, we can get rid of his Draco by switching into our mono. And we, we may as well just do that, right? We might get rid of it. Um, now, the reason I have Evil Flaffy in is it's not a terrible counter to interrupt Gen 2. Because it doesn't get... A, it can't be distracted. And its counter goes through evasive. Uh, is this level 30? It's level 29. So it's, it's pretty darn aggressive. Um... Oh, what's it going for? Distraction? Oh, okay. Okay, fair enough. Um, now, he's going to go for his big hit. What's his attack? 1,700. So, it's strange you got level 29 and you haven't boosted it. Huh. Um, so, chances are... 
He's going to go for his biggest hit. So I'd rather just half that attack. Because if I can outlast, at least I can go for more diggings. I've got to be wary, though, that his monostegatops is going to come in. And it has like a thousand attack. So if I have less than a thousand health, I've lost. I've lost this guy. Chances are it's definitely going to happen because he's going to go for a oh, wait, evasive stance now. Oh, he's just going for everything. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. Um, so we'll go for this. Um, oh, he goes for instant distraction. Right. Okay. He's, oh, God. Can we, can we skip this? Can we just skip to the end? Because I've lost, like, I didn't get, if my winning conditions are basically if I get Becky. If I get Becky and Draco, because my Draco is level 28. They, those are my winning conditions. Now, I don't know why I did this, because he's just going to go for nullifying. And he's going to hit me and go, oh, no, he did have his distracting rampage out again. Fair enough. Um, so, you know what? Sod it. If he's just going to go for loads of distractions. Diplominator! You didn't see this coming. Although you are... Oh, he's not going to kill me in one more hit. Ooh. Oh, look at this. Bam! Lovely. Um, and I, if he does attack me, which he probably won't. Oh, he di Why, though? Okay, he's definitely dead. No, he's not. Because only does 900, doesn't it? Ah. Oh. You see, I think if you had an evil Fluffy like this and you boosted the attack out of it, it would be a really, 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 really good counter against Indoraptor Gen 2. Um, the only problem is that it's slow and I don't think it has a great amount of health. I've already got it like level 25 and it, it can be very easily killed. Um, and that's the answer, I think, to take on Indoraptor is something like that. Um... So what, do we, what? I mean, what do I go for here? There's, there's, there really isn't anything I can I can do. Um, I mean, I am two one up, and I just need one more kill. He does have his like, what do you call it? Um, he's got his big uh, capro capro thingy, and I've lost basically. There's nothing I can do. And the annoying thing is, like, what I've come to do when I was doing these battles is as soon as I saw an Indoraptor Gen 2 level 30 with boosts, I closed the game. I closed the game and I did something else because I cannot be bothered. I cannot be bothered to have this game waste my time. I don't have, like this is the thing. Like if I was a kid and I didn't do anything else, just get it over with man, just kill him. Uh, if I didn't do anything else with my time, I had nothing better to do. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, like, I, I wasn't going to win. There was no way I was going to win. Um, at all. So just, just end it. End it quickly. Thank you. Oh, wait. No, hold on. Yeah. Right. I'm not dead. Oh, fine. Uh, Interrupted Gen 2. Yeah. Actually, this guy didn't have an Interrupted Gen 2. Still lost, though, because he has freaking level 28 Monostegatops. <laughs> to be fair, though, Monostegatops is a decent creature uh, to have. So... Soslo, there you go. I was I was one ball away to my highest score. And that's what's gonna happen. It sucks. It sucks. I don't know what else to say, man. Like, I really don't. It sucks. It sucks. There's nothing else I can say. Like, I have played this game since the beginning. Since it was in friggin uh, soft launch and I played it a lot and I I'm pretty sure I spent money on it and I have been doing the VIP and you know I, I haven't been able to play it as, as often as I'd like or uh, go out and dart as many things as I'd like oh we got a crit Ooh, that was close um, but at the same time at the, in the same breath I've, I, I've played it this long, and in a tournament, this is the best I can do. And he's going to be quicker than me, because he's level 28, he's got 142 speed, he's boosted his health, he's boosted his attack. Um, and what's, what's his attack? 1,600. So um, if he gets a crit, I'm dead in two hits. If he doesn't, I can survive. Ooh, I might survive, I might survive. So at least, at least I can do two hits to him. At least I can do two hits. Um... I mean, there's 
Uh, I guess I could probably go for the, um... I'm trying to think, what's... He can de he can kill two of my dinosaurs. He can, he can kill all of my dinosaurs in one hit with that. In the, um... Oh, please don't get crit. Oh, thank God. With, what is it? Uh, Defense Shadow Rampage. You can kill every dinosaur I've got. Um... Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> what can you do? I can't stun him. Um, he's gonna be quicker. I can't... I, I guess I could bleed him out. But I'm gonna have to sacrifice two dinosaurs for this. Um, I'm gonna have to sacrifice Indoraptor Gen 2. It sucks, but I'm gonna have to do it. Um, the only saving grace for this game right now is the reset and boosts. Meaning that I can... Just go, okay, sod it, let's boost Ender after Gen 2 and be as bad as everybody else. And uh, the thing is, eventually, um, I mean, I don't know what to do, man. Like, he's gonna go for a big hit here. He's gonna go for a big hit. Um, he's going to kill me. Um, and that's it. That That is the end of it. I mean, I could have went for Phosphor Phosphoruchus and... Um, and I think I, I might still uh, go for it. So he has to swap out now. Otherwise, he's going to lose it. And he might he might actually take that. He might take that trade-off. He's not. Okay. Mono Stegotops at level 20. Why are we still here? I mean, that's it, isn't it? I, that, that is it. So he's got five, six. So I could do a lot of damage to him. Can he go for... He can't go for the greatest stun. He can definitely slow me down, though. So, I'm gonna go for this. Hopefully he doesn't get a crit, and then I can swap in Phosphoracus. Don't get a crit. Okay, at least I can I can try and do a tactic. So, he's, go he's gonna go first. Now, how much damage does this do? Damn, it's not enough. So I'm gonna switch in Phosphoraca. It's, no, whatever it's called. Phosphor- Phosphor- Now, do I get my stun? I do. So he's gonna bleed again. Now, he's gonna have to go for um, his dig in. He's gonna have to go for that. Otherwise, he's pretty screwed. So, let's let him, oh, he goes for a swap. Hold the phone. What's he doing? Was he expecting me to go for the instant charge? I ha no, no, I can't win this one. No, I've only got Phosphor, I mean, he's terrible. At uh, uh, level 21 with no boosts. Oh, really? I mean, I can be stunned, I guess. So, sure. I wasn't, though. Oh, my God. I haven't killed him because I got terrible attack. He's got armor. Um, is this what he's going to do? Um, yeah, I'm not immune to stuns. So, he's probably going to go for a dig in now. He doesn't. Is it, has he thrown in? What, what's his other dinosaur? This, basically, this is it. What is his other dinosaur? Uh, it's his own fossil. Is it faster? And... There you go, folks. That's all they said. Uh, and done. 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 I hate this game. I hate it. Oh my god. And this is the problem. Oh, I hate it. This is the problem. Why I hate Dresser World Live? I've spent, what is that? 10 minutes, probably. T about 10 minutes doing these battles. And I have just dropped and dropped. Can't get any. Like, thank god they've kept the highest rank you get in these battles. Because if they didn't, wow! Like, that would, like, I mean, I, I, I'm i trying to approach it from every angle. I'm trying, like, if I was a really good player and I knew all the tactics and I had every creature leveled up and I did the, like, if I had everything properly done, I had, you know, level 30s, I had the best team, uh, what would I say looking down at a person who's annoyed at what I find easy? What would I genuinely say? I'd be like, oh, well, you need to do this. You need to do that. I can't do it. Because, I mean, I only have so much coin. I only have so much time. I, I, If I wanted, I guess I could buy the boosts. And th herein lies the problem with Dresser World Alive. It's, I mean, I guess I, you, it teaches you a lesson that you can't win everything. Like, yes, my, my general team's good. But because my general team's good, you know, my uniques are, some of them are level 30, this team, the legendary and uh, epics, aren't. And in a way, it's good because it allows you, it's like, oh, well, now you do need to level up these creatures. Now it makes sense. I just think it would do so much better if you didn't put boosts on it. 
fair enough, keep the regular levels, keep the level 20, 22s, 20, whatevers. Uh, don't make them all level 26, but don't have mods. Don't have boosts. Don't put them on it. That makes it no fun for anyone else. I... <sighs> it's such a shame because we, we saw this game go from, I don't know, like... Uh, a, it, it, what, the worst thing was there was a meta and everybody used Velociraptor. But these get fixed with nerfs and buffs and all this jazz. Uh, but as more dinosaurs got added to the roster, then it changed. Oh, I still don't have any mammoth. Oops, never mind. <laughs> no mammoth. Um, and then they they added boosts. And to start, it was it didn't change the game too much because you could only buy like some boosts once a week, if that. And then you would earn them from incubators. But then they made it every day. And then we saw the change happen. And I get it, it makes, it's good because then you could have these weird and wonderful dinosaurs in the battles that you don't normally see. But again, the only people that can put these weird plays are people in the top. People who already have a Trichosaurus maxed in health because they're like, well, I can use these boosts on something else. If I, like, if we go into the leaderboards, for example, I'm not trying to name names, but just as examples, let's have a look at the top few players. The top player has a level 30 Secodontosaurus. Okay, I love it. I love that you were able to put a level 30 Secodontosaurus in your team. However, no one else could do that who is below, like, 500 players, top 500, whatever. Because for one, Secodontosaurus, you need it for hybrids. Uh, two, who's wasting that much coin on a Secodontosaurus? And even then, look at it. Look at this. I mean, I don't know how much mods are on that, but 132 speed, 2,552 attack, and 5,000. I mean, I'm assuming the reason why he's using it is because it has a defense shattering and it's immune. That's the only reason. But you look at this guy. This is this rhino. The uh, Mammalania is one of the recent hybrids. He's already got it level 30. He's already boosted it. And Phosphor... Phosphor... Maxed! Maxed! Attack on that! Ardennis, Ardennis Maxima, a little bit of a change. That is crazy stats. Uh, Gemini Titan, maxed! What? <laughs> like... And this is what what's happened is he was doing those, you know, the, the tournaments where you won the mods. So he got the highest amount of mods and was able to put it on this stuff. And honestly, a few days ago, I was on the fence. I was like, do I put a post up on Twitter or YouTube and say, guys, I'm not going to make any more Jurassic World Alive videos because... It's not fun. It's not fun. Feel like I I sort of owe it to people who have, are in my alliance, people who have donated, people who like this game to keep on covering it. But the thing is, guys, there's there's no redeeming quality of it. The the the, the most fun I have, the most excitement and joy I get out of it is being able to get my incubators within an hour. <laughs> like, you know, getting the eight hour before I go to bed and setting that off. That is the most fun I get out of it. If I win at all in the Gyrosphere Depot, I'm like, oh, thank God. <laughs> it's like, it's a relief. Not like, yes, I play. It's like, thank God I didn't face up against a level 30 Interruptor Gen 2 with max stats or uh, a Thorder with max speed and, you know, whatever. It, that's very rare to see these days. I did come across it the other day, though. Um, or, or, you know, it's just like when you're putting in boosts and maxing up creatures like Seco Friggin' Dontosaurus, you've got no problems. You've got no worries. You're not facing against, you know, these Thordos with crazy attacks or speed or uh, Ehrlichosauruses with like 5,000 health and like 3,000 attack. So in one hit, uh, bearing in mind it's super quick, in one hit it can do 6,000 damage as long as you don't have armor. Like, these are problems that the regular player has. 
If you're up in there in the tops, you don't have these problems. You're like, eh, second on Max that thing up, you know. And bear in mind, I only looked at the top player. What does the other player have? A, a regular team. But of course, they're all boosted, which makes sense because he's going to be using these. Most of these players just have, like, these cre Like this guy, 100%, he's got like 2,000 and odd cups. If we have a look... Let's have a look. Let's go into the tournament. Let's go into the leaderboard. The top one. Oh, there he is. He's up there. Uh, these people, I mean, you would like to believe, look, like, of course this guy's up here. He's got a level 30. Like most of his team, he's using in the tournament. <laughs> and are they, they'll all be boosted. All be boosted. I mean, it makes, I, I don't know where he's placed in the regular uh, ranks, but maybe this is maybe it's better actually to just go for a team of legendaries and epics and boost them up because not only will you be able to use them in the regular battles, but you'll also be able to use them most likely in the tournaments because very rarely do tournaments allow you to use uniques because what's the point? It's just a regular battle. And he has his mono stegatops with 6,000 health. He has his Sarko Ricks with all that. He has 163 speed, Becky. Oh! <laughs> and 163 speed means that even if, like, an Indoraptor Gen 2... Oh, 162 speed Indo <laughs> Indoraptor Gen 2! Ah! No! No, I'm done. I'm done. No. I can't... I can't compete. The only way, the only way that you can get up... I mean, if you look at it, the top player only has... Well, he's got double my trophies and a little bit more. But even then, like, obviously, that's as high as they can get. Thank you so much for sitting here with me um, and listening to me rant about um, possibly stopping covering Jurassic World Alive. Uh, I know that you've had to wait to, like, the end to hear it. And I might have titled the video it, so it's maybe... It's not clickbait, because it is in the video. Look at this. I'm, I'm having to shake my head, like, back in my emo days. Huh, get the fringe out! <laughs> um, it sucks, because the game's not fun. Even when... Even when I level up a dinosaur, it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference. I can make... I You know... Genuinely, if I'm beaten, it's not because they're one level higher. It's not It's not because they got one more boost. It's because their whole team is better or something like that. And I'm not, I, like, I, I get nothing out of this. I, I don't want to be like, oh, pity me, boo-hoo. Generally, I, I'm just not, I'm not enjoying it. And I, I feel like I'm not alone. I feel like the vast majority of the player base finds this annoying and frustrating. The thing is, right, Ludia are never going to take boosts out. They can't. Because if they took boosts out, then everybody who spent their bucks on boosts is going to be outraged. And going to be like, well, give me my money back. I spent real money on this game. Look, guys. I spent... Here's, here's a, a me to you. Okay. This is what you've got to understand with Ludia. I spent hundreds, hundreds of pounds on Jurassic Park Builder. The game no longer exists. It's gone. Completely. I, and it's in the, uh, the, the sort of fine print, like, licenses and agreement stuff, that they don't have to give me that money back. Uh, and that game no longer exists. It's not like I bought something, like, you know, it's a game, right? It's not like an apple. It's not gonna go off, and I'm never gonna, you know, if I spent a hundred pound on an apple, and five years later, I'm expecting to still have that apple, Come on, don't be stupid. But I spent money on a game. Now, technically, when you buy games, you think you should always have it, right? I do not have Jurassic Park Builder anymore. I spent money on that game. It's gone. Whatever money you're spending on this game, eventually it will go. Because the servers, I mean, like, I, I think this is like a game that is quite intense with servers. And Jurassic Park Builder never had PvP, ever. And they took it down. I don't think the processing power to keep Jurassic Park Builder up was really that much. I could be wrong, but in comparison to Jurassic World Alive, I think the processing power is a lot more demanding. They obviously want to keep this game alive because it costs to run it. That's why they put boosts in it so you can have more microtransactions. And they've done a lot of things. They've done a lot of things right. 
they they fixed the game to an extent. Like they put, especially with the lockdown, they gave us a Giga Cent. They gave us able to, you know, they built it by darts. I mean, all these things are free. They're not costing them anything, but they made the play experience more enjoyable. Now, at the moment, I get no fun out of this game. The the only fun I get is if I yeah you know, I see a, like this this screen right here is the fun. It's going around, finding an epic creature, darting that epic creature, um, you know, getting the supply drops. Go and you know another another fun bit, another fun bit is going into here, going into the sanctuary, donating to people, getting the DNA that I need. That's a fun bit. You know the problem is, both of those things are linked to this, to the battles, and the battles are not fun. And I don't know a way that they can fix it. So chances of them taking boost up is not going to happen. Nerfs, maybe? The cautious strike with interrupt, it's already been nerfed. I doubt it's going to get nerfed again. Um, uh, speed 10% increase for two turns. Maybe it was one turn. Maybe you kept it for the next turn, but you could never put more on. Uh, so which meant that as soon as you didn't go for cautious strike, you lost that speed boost. That would break it. That would make it good. That would make Interruptor so much use- so well more useless than it is now. In the moment with that, the fact that it gets its- it can do something else and then start applying its 10% again, it breaks it. Um, and I think with the Mutual Fury you get, uh, what do you do? 10% speed for two turns. The same thing. I- I don't- I think Mutual Fury is probably a- keep that. Keep that two turns. But Cautious Strike, Remember, it used to cleanse as well. Um, I think that's that little tweak might break it and make it... I mean, it's not breaking it. It's breaking it from being OP. But I think maybe that would make the difference. Maybe keep all the stats, but change that. I mean, when you've got people with 162 speed Indoraptor, well, there's nothing you can do if you ever face against those people. Obviously, they're in the top. I never face those guys. But if the top is anything like what I'm facing... I don't want to be there. I don't want to do it. And what is the point of this game? The point of the game is to max up all your creatures. But what's, why would you want to when as soon as you start maxing, maxing it up, you're against people who have these crazy boost things. Um, and I don't know, maybe, maybe, I, maybe I will stop because I'm not enjoying it. It's the end, I think. Um, and it sucks because I've supported this game for so long. I will, I will continue to play it. Um, I will continue to play uh, Jurassic World Alive, and I'm not saying that it won't come back. Because um, if they, when they put up the update, and if it, you know, if it does fix things, if it does become fun, um, I might come back to it. But it's, it seems such a shame. It seems such a shame because I loved, you know, I've got Magnetator finally level 30. I finally got Magnetator level 30. And it it's it's a really good creature. And it, but I just I just keep on losing. <laughs> I like I and if there's anything that this channel has been founded on, for me personally, it's that I play games that I enjoy. And at the moment, I am not enjoying this game. End of. And with that being said, that that is, I think, I think me saying it out loud, yeah, I'm, I'm done. I think I'm done with Jurassic World Alive. Uh, I'm done with the battles that, uh, you know, if I need to get the incubators, um, I'm, I, I'm kind of sick of spending hours, loss after loss after loss to get one win, to get an incubator. And then to go loss, loss. And maybe, maybe I'll get two wins. Maybe I'll get three wins in a row. But, I mean, obviously, I'm, I stay around about the same level. But it just, it just feels like I've wasted time. The fact that I need to do these battles in order to even get the incubators. Um, and the, the battles are, are what do you call it? They're, they're not nice battles. The more I'm talking, the more I'm like... I just don't like it. <laughs> I don't like anything that it is. Uh, it turned into a it turned into a pay to win. Um, they broke it with the mods, 
I mean, it was always pay to win, right? You could you could spend loads of money and buy loads of epic incubators, right? And you could have got it. But then it became super pay to win with mods or boosts, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then Indoraptor Gen 2 became a meta and there's nothing that you can really do unless you have an Indoraptor Gen 2. And Indoraptor Gen 2, it's not like you can even try to get Indoraptor Gen 2 because blue isn't out there. So if you don't have any blue DNA, you ain't getting your Indra. So then you're just facing these interrupted Gen 2s that you can't do anything about. And there's no solid counter for it. I mean, maybe there is. Maybe there is one. But, you know, it's like, oh, you have to put like 50 boosts on this creature. Or you need to get this creature level 30. Well, yes, I can. But what if interrupted Gen 2 changes? And then I've just got this creature that does nothing. You, you know what I mean? It's like... The problem with it. This game, if you can take boosts off without having a penalty of 50%, 50 boosts just lost because you've took it off one creature is a penalty that isn't worth even trying unless you've put it on something that you know you're definitely not going to use. And if boosts... Okay, how to fix the game... <laughs> 50 minutes in how to fix the game. Okay, if you had... Keep boosts, okay, fine, keep boosts. But have the penalty for taking them off, like take that away. So now people can go, okay, let's try things. Let's let's mix and match. Let's have fun. Fun! Remember that word, Ludi? It was fun! When you go, okay, let's try maxing Trichosaur. Let's see how that goes. Okay, that didn't work out. Let's try maxing this creature, maxing the speed of this one. That's fun. You know the reason why they had the penalty on? So that you lose them and you have to buy them again. That's 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 the reason. Because why why would you penalize somebody for just make, trying different combos? It's a commitment. It's like, you know, you put something together with super glue. Once you do that, it's like, oh, well, well, it's soldered together or something, you know, like plastic or like two plastic pieces that mold together. It's like, well, if I break it apart, it's going to look horrible. And instead of just having PVA or something, you know, no penalty, they they went with cement. You know, they were like, yeah, yeah, can't do anything here. You want it back? Well, you're going to lose half of it. Interrupt Gen 2's speed boost, not two turns, one turn. And maybe then, maybe then the game will be fun. We'll see. But anyway, guys, uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I wanted it to be fun. I do want it to be fun. It just isn't. And there's nothing I can do about it. I apologize. Um, leave in the comments. If you have made it this far, uh, do leave in the comments. Um, if you think I'm being unfair to it in a way, say. Say that, you know, there's, there's this way that you can do it. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to be like, uh, nah. <laughs> I do want it to be fun. And, you know, I have had people reach out to me in the past and say, well, Beaver, if you, you know, try using this creature. And if it is, like, try using, uh, you know, Dilorancus and get it speed up this way. And this will be able to take on Indoraptor. Perfect. But remember, I only have so much coins and I only have so much books and I only have so many mods. So without taking mods off of things and suffering that penalty, I can't jeopardize my team too much. So it's, you know, there, I, I get, you know, I've always got an Dominus. Almost got it to level 30. So close. Oh, God. Well, if the game does change, if, if the game becomes fun, I'll play it again. But as of now, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. I don't, I don't, I don't want to. I will play it in my spare time, though. I will keep on playing it. But you won't see it on the channel too much. And in a way, I I'll, I'll, might enjoy it better. I might enjoy it better. So, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, <laughs> why would you enjoy it? <laughs> you enjoy watching me lose over and over. And that's the thing. Most times when I do these videos and battles, three, one. I usually win three battles, lose one. Already just done two, lost, loss. And that'll be it. I, I could go down to like 700, I'm sure. And just keep on losing, losing, losing. And it has got down to 900 before, which is like five losses in a row or something like that. So I don't want to do it. I don't have the time. I ain't got that time. <laughs> God. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Not to support the game, to support me. <laughs> Until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs>